A lot of companies are coming up with ways to make tasty, healthy food and let's throw environmentally friendly in there as well. That is the goal of a business student at the University of Denver. Yeah, but this time though, the main ingredient, it apparently has six legs. Ugh. Here's John Glasgow with this week's Ew. It needs to be flat. So For someone looking to start small when opening a business. Here you are looking at the, what, eight ingredients. That University of Denver student Claire Wetzel went tiny with her idea. It's kind of wacky and out there. I said, okay, it's illegal. It's, it's the granola that breaks the rules. She's not breaking the rules with oranges, cranberries, or maple syrup in the recipe. It's the special ingredient. I tried grasshoppers, crickets, June beetles. The meal ticket she found, meal worms. My idea was that we could grind the insects down and fit a big concentration into food staples that we already eat. She creates sustainable food using insects. Bugs are packed with protein and use less water and natural resources than animals. I tried banana bread first. I tried uh, chocolate covered beetles and then ultimately it was granola that stuck. Her idea stuck with like-minded yeah. business people too. She's won four grant competitions, money she's using to help pay for nutrition analyzing, packaging, and insects. I do a little bit of farming my own, and then I buy the rest. The challenge Claire admits stomaching the idea of bugs for breakfast. People view insects as pests and not an alternative source of protein. And my granola doesn't look like it has any insects in it, which helps a lot. Competition is slim in this space. Yeah, I'm a bug lady, <laughs> I'm a weirdo, but uh, I'm bringing in a new era to entomophagy in the U.S. A new business venture requiring a little adventure from her customers and one curious reporter. Sure. John Glasgow. <laughs> Thank you. Nine News. Hey, Claire, fellow weirdo right here, I'm with you. She actually says she has three flavors of illegal oats, chocolate, honey nut, and cranberry orange. You're going to find her selling the granola at farmer's markets around Denver this summer. Maybe you want to try some of them out. Claire actually hopes to uh, one day open a food truck of different meals down the road. I, you know, a lot of people want to roll their eyes at this or they want to say, like, that's gross. Think about all the stuff that we eat and where it also originates from. But she's right. It's more about the, the it's more about the thought. The that you're eating bugs it. rather than what you're actually eating. No, I mean, I, I understand like the whole like in, <laughs> the environmental aspect of it and I totally respect that. I'm just not there yet. I'm just not nah. there. You know, Keely, I think I'm just going to stick to like normal brunch today. Maybe I'll have the guts to eat the, the worms on a different day. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're still looking forward to that KFC bucket. Right. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm right there with you. Anusha. I've done several stories on bugs and the protein and, and really the protein for the future as the climate continues to change. And it is tough. Every time I do a story, I'm thinking, this is the day. This is the day that I'm going to get past the eating bug gross out factor. And it's just tough to do. And is it, it ever? Is it, but is it ever the day, Keely? It will be. One day. One day. So it not will yet, be. but it will be. It will be. Okay, that's a promise in the future. Maybe today. Hey, it's Mother's Day. Why not, right? Exactly.